Dorothy, thank you so much for sorting out my Loewe green <laughs> glasses. But I have to tell you this. What? The moment I made that purchase, mm -hmm. I regretted it, girl. Because everybody and their mama and their sister and their cousin and their cousin cousins. You scroll, you scroll like, tw like through your explore, you see it like 10 times. They just became like pure water. It's almost like when I posted it that, oh, TM made me fall in love with these glasses. And you, I ordered like the, used my personal shopper. Yeah. And then it just went, Phew. I'm scrolling on Instagram. I'm seeing sold out 6.5. Girl, don't so make me cry. It's, do I don't know, know if it's the price that is offending me or it's the sold out. Do you know what's so funny? I bought those glasses in every color. I know. I have the white, the the first multicolored blue that came out. Yeah. I can bet that I was one of their first customers that purchased those glasses. Bought those ones. Mm -hmm. Bought the white. White. Mm -hmm. Bought the blue. And then I saw you put your, your personal shopper. The only color I don't have is the mustard. Yeah. Jay Breeze, God will punish you. <laughs> Jay Breeze was driving in traffic one day. Do you know who put this time the video called me? And do you know what it called to show me? Yeah, Look at your life. Glasses. See your glasses in traffic. <laughs> but you would always, you, I, I feel like you can always tell the difference though. I don't know. Girl, there's, I saw a pink color. And I'm sure Louisville did not make pink. Yeah, they'll be offended. <laughs> and it's so offensive. Like, it's yeah. like, you know, I, I stopped posting things that I purchased now mm -hmm. because I, I realized that once I put it out there, Everybody just goes to buy. You still have to post now. We, and then, have, we have to take notes. Oh no, no! But the, what 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 bothers me the most is that they're not even just they just they just like go overboard, and then I can't wear them. You're so lucky that you didn't even purchase it. Mm -mm. That's You're why so I, that's lucky because now I don't know what to do with all the colors that I have. <laughs> you sell them, girl. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, welcome, but ladies and gentlemen. Good. This is the season two of Token Moments. We're back like never before. And of course, we have an amazing new set. And my very first guest is the queen of soft life, in my own opinion. She's hey. Dora, the explorer of the soft life. Every time I go on your page, Dora, you're always on holiday. Ah! You're always oh on God, holiday. Oh. You're always... You know, this Dorothy. is like... No, wait, wait. I, I feel like I need to clear this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna chill. <laughs> no, because honestly, whenever like... I remember like my one of my best friends, he... Yeah. he I think he saw me... I told him I was traveling. Yeah. The, and then he goes, again? Again. I'm like, I've not even gone in. Okay, I went to SA earlier this year. But that's that's it. No, I don't listen, even travel babe, as much. I travel once every month. But you. You. I don't travel. I travel like once You're every lying. four months. Zanzibar. When was that? No, that was, that, no, that was Maldives. <laughs> I've never been to... I've never been to Zanzibar. Just like, let me correct you right there. That was Maldives. All right, my no, love. Wait, wait, I wait. get it. I actually, I actually need people to Girl, stop. you're always in one plane and you like to go to these exotic places. I literally go on your snap each time I'm feeling like, you know, I'm sure this girl is going to be awesome. There's the breeze, there's the you wind, know, there's the bikini, you know, and the there's time. Dora. And, and I'm like, girl... Yeah. Half the time, I always have to put like my location on Instagram, especially like, maybe when I travel and yeah. then I get back. Cause yeah. people, be, I'm like, I, I got back last week. Oh, really? It I still saw so. like a, no. Yeah, I'm around. No, please. but you, you, you do like vacation destination really well. I like the aesthetic every time you travel. Thank you're like you. an Instagram baddie. No. Even if I hate that word. Oh uh, no, 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 no. Instagram baddie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the aesthetics. I hate when people say Instagram baddie. Does it offend you as much as it offends me? I'm, I'm not an Instagram baddie, but I hear people actually are Instagram baddies. What does that even mean? Um, I, I, really I mean, it's know. beyond the aesthetics. I think it's just like people who are just like hopping on Instagram. Is that what you think it is? Pretty face, look good. Pretty face. Um, dress well, yeah. take pictures, mm -hmm. go out, go to brunch with the girls. Yeah. Go on trips. So I think we kind of fit into... I like to refer it to... You know, I think I'm in like an era called the soft girl era. And You're always in the soft girl era, I, well, TM. Oh well, my God. Honestly, you are the soft girl. No, but then if you guys thought I was soft, I'm now softer. Okay. I'm not even softer. lying. I am softer. I like, I like that. <laughs> no, because I was watching this thing online that yeah. actually I wanted us to talk about where this girl was like, ladies, listen, you can't be saying that you're a soft girl and you're dating guys that make you go ra -ta 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 -ta. And it's like she snatched my wig off because, you know, I realized that, oh, maybe this is what is missing in my life. Do you understand? Maybe, maybe this is why I still haven't, like, you know, bagged the man yet because... Oh. I feel like even in how I talk now, like I've changed. Did you see how I even introduced the show? Before I used to be like, yo, 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 yo. Now I'm like, 
very soft. Because I feel like that damsel in distress thing, mm -hmm. I think I want to, that's the next level for me. I'm tired of, I, I'm the poster girl of strong. <laughs> and nobody, should, anybody that tells me you're strong, my doctor said it the other day, he's like, no wonder you're so strong. I said, doctor, don't, I'm not strong. Please, don't. I don't even want to be strong. I just want to be soft. I just want to be soft. Exactly. So does that mean that you're now dating someone that is making you old? I'm not dating yet. Okay. Um, girl, I'm the one doing the interview. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just, almost forgot for a minute. <laughs> no, because you Well, said... I'm seeing yeah. a bunch of people. Um, I, I, I'm, I haven't given anyone the title You know, yet. I posted something today. Yeah. And, you know, I like to put, like, funny screenshots Stay on my... Stay wicked. I learned my, that from you. On my, on my I, last slide. Mm. And then the court had... Um, would you donate your kidney to the person you're dating? And the reply was, two kidney for five people. No, no, it's not possible. Girl, how yeah, how are they going to share it? Yeah. No, but I think that, I think that that's, I tell ladies out there, before you start throwing labels around, I'm mm -hmm. at the point in my life where you have to earn the title of being my man. And I tell all these niggas that I'm seeing that I'm seeing other people. I don't, when are a guy asks me, are you seeing somebody? I'm like, yeah, I don't even say somebody, people. That doesn't mean I'm sleeping with all of them. Yeah. There's a guy for ice cream. There's a guy for <laughs> conversation. There's a guy for movies. There's a guy for movies. Yeah. There's a guy for when I'm having a downtime. He mm -hmm. speaks deep things and mm -hmm. I get like, okay, I, I, need some, you. I need some inspiration. There's a guy that, you know, I don't even want to hear you speak because your English is sending me. Just swipe the card. Let's just... <laughs> And there's always, I feel like guys need to understand that there's always a waiting list. Like, don't sit there and think you can fuck up. And Will you date someone who can't speak English or has money? You don't always have to talk. Ah! I like you. You're my kind of girl. Honestly. <laughs> What's going on? Like, ah! what is. The other day, someone was like, you know the guy that took us out? Because some yeah. guy that I was hanging out with, oh my God, if he watches this, then he's going to know that he's the one. Oh, this, this podcast be putting me into trouble. I'd be spilling all my business on here. Um, yeah, so his English wasn't that great. And then, of course, you know, my bougie friends are like, what was he? I said, you're still asking what he's saying. Do you not see? The lifestyle we lived. Don't talk. It's okay. <laughs> I'll translate. I'll tra <laughs> I speak cash. <laughs> I speak the soft good life. Morning. I speak holidays. I speak good morning, princess. Yes, you know what I mean? And I feel like, honestly, mm -hmm. I, I was watching something that was saying that people should start telling people their intentions before they go into their life. 100%. And I completely agree. Like, I was nodding my head throughout when the lady was talking. She was like, listen, it's high time we're all grown. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Let's, Let's start open. telling everybody what their intentions are. If I don't see you as dating material, and I think that this is the mistake that most guys make, and this is where, you know, the, the, the lines are always blurred in yeah. this dating thing. Like, how are you finding the dating market first before we even analyze that? Because I wanted to ask if you're dating, but you're already asking, so I'm going to ask you back, my Scorpio sister. <laughs> what is it like? Um, for me, I feel like I'm more of a loyalist. Um, I can be talking to multiple people, but... she's loyal to me? I <laughs> loyal <laughs> But, like, I feel like when, I, when I'm with you, mm -hmm. I'm with you. And I'm very open. I always say that, you know, always be open with me. Always tell me everything. Mm. Uh, if you cheat on me, I'll cheat back. You're mine, I'm yours. Nobody's going anywhere it's with that. It's yeah. energy. We're yeah. in there together. Yeah. But don't do things to me that you wouldn't want me to do to you. Mm. If I call you, you don't pick my call. If you call me, I won't pick your call. That bad. I'm, yeah. yeah I'm actually that bad. Because I have, like, so much insecurities. So, I like being, like, really open. Yeah. Don't make my head. I'm like, because... If you're not talking to me, who are you talking to? Girl. And you know we'd be knowing. It's the Scorpio energy. Like when a, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this to people, but I, I always say to my guy friends or guys yeah. that are, are talking to me, when a guy is full of shit, before You always I know. know. Like I know. There's something about when somebody is being funny, I just I just I, I always there's an know. energy that I tap into it immediately and I just know, hmm. Mm. And because I know that I'm not out here to play, if I want to play games, I won't even date you in the first place. Mm. Do you understand? So if I'm going to date you and I'm going to commit to you, you need to, you have to give me the same energy. Yeah. You can't be half like you can't meet me like this. It has to be the full energy. Yeah. You can't give me half baked. Um, yeah, but then when you energy. look at when you look at the world today, I feel like men are spoiled for choice. Very. Let me. I feel like everybody, every female who's got her life together, yeah. you have a business. You know, regardless of how we chin wag and we play on here and we say whatever, you know, you know how hard it is to just, you know, literally put Get, yourself together and come mm -hmm. this far. Um, they want a <clears> level <throat> of 
certainty, as you're saying, you know, if you're going to come into my life, be honest about your intentions. If 100. you just want to fuck around, let me know from we get can go. Play that, that game. Oh my God, I love it. Just tell me, baby girl. I love it. You know, let's play. I, this is what I'm looking for from you. you the one that annoys me the most is those guys <clears throat> that come with the the energy the from energy, the beginning. Like, I like, love you. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I if a nigga tells me he loves me now, I look at him like he's crazy. Like, <laughs> honey, boo. I'm like, mm, I don't even have any response. I think that people think I'm cold. When, they, when a guy tells me I love you, I'll just be like, thank you. Thank you, with because all my, with all my because I can bet you love me and six other people. So don't let me waste my time. Do you understand? <laughs> so I mean, I love you is even far fetched. I just feel yeah. like niggas come to your life and feel like they just talking stages these days for me is like two weeks. No, I don't do talking stages. I don't even have any left in me. What? I tell people because when they come, they come with that energy. Good morning, princess. Have you eaten? What are you? I feel like <laughs> one thing I can never understand is <clears throat> okay, you come to me with a certain energy you know, full of life, we're talking all the time, you wanna, you can't, you can't go to bed without talking to me. And then, let's say, give or take, two, three weeks in, I'm calling you, you're not girl, picking bye. up. We're going to, girl, girl, girl. You're calling, I'm calling you, you're not picking up. Who, why is your phone ringing? You can't see my name. Sure. Yo. Even if my number is not saved, you should know the number in your sleep. Oh. What? God damn it. Are you girl. playing? I, I feel like that's one thing I would never understand. And it's always the men. Because I'm still, I still have the same energy. I still want to, you know, check on you. I still want to talk to you. I put my phone And on. let me tell you what frustrates me. Why did you talk to me every fucking day in, in the last two years? I'm busy. Why? Why does it, why does it have to change? Yeah. I feel like we need, we actually need people to call in and explain. Men. Men. They need to uh, explain. No, let me tell you what why frustrates me. Why does it have me? to change? This nigga will fight for your attention. Because listen, I'm hard. But it's hard to get my attention. Whoa. I tell people like when you meet, I don't they know They be knowing, respond. you know, they be knowing. They, know. they be telling you things like, oh, I know the million people that are trying to talk to, to me. You know, I appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your time. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Wait, let me give this my seats. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> Girl. I appreciate your time. What is going I on? I see. I see, I see that you really care about me. Da, 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 da. And then you, you change. I'm like, no, let me tell you, you're even, you're even going too far. The appreciate your time even comes when, from the beginning, hi, yeah. you don't answer. Hello back. Hi, call. And then at some point, I'm like, I what did I steal from you that you are looking for? <laughs> yeah, I told you, why you want to use hi to kill to me? To kill me. What do you kill want? Do you understand? <laughs> so eventually, I'm like, yeah. okay, hello. They still come with it. Just wanted to say hi. So, so in the beginning, that's how they start. And then they now get your attention. Because, yeah. you know, everybody's human, you know. It's like the king and the, the beggar. Mm -hmm. The biblical story, how the woman will come and beg the king every day. Fight for me, fight for me. The day she didn't come, the king missed her, right? right. So it's only normal for you to give me a pattern of three weeks of, before I wake up, Olori Burukus. <laughs> They'll even be like, my queen, good morning. Even you at some point, you'll be the like... Queen. After a while, the queen leaves the, the queen kingdom. Leaves the queen leaves the kingdom. You're not queen in the kingdom. And if we're all saying this, what is going on in the world? It's crazy. And, and I feel like even with my friends, like people that you'd expect that they're having like the perfect relationships and everything. But if we all sit down there, sit down here and talk about the things we go through with men. Like it's not one of my favorite topics because it's an unending argument. Like yeah. it's too much back and forth yeah, and everything. Yeah. But it is the truth. Like, if you're going to be with me, be with me. Like, be present. And I feel like it's it's sad because I was saying to a friend of mine, actually a guy friend recently, that the songs that, the heartbreak songs they sang in the 90s, yeah. the lyrics are still the same thing we're battling with today. 100%. The other day, we had movie night over and we all watched Wedding to Exhale. And at the end of the movie, every female there said, wait a minute. Waiting to excel of 25 years. Still I can tell you, uh, Angela Bassett, her husband left after 11 years of trying to, you left for his secretary. Whitney Houston was dating a married man. So, mm -hmm. when you now look at the world today, you realize that nothing has changed. Nothing is even Heartbreak worse. Heartbreak Hotel, <clears throat> you said you'd be here by nine. You said you took your time. You didn't think to call me. Is that what we're dealing with? <laughs> now I see. I'm crying. You know, it's, it's the same thing, thing. we're it's saying. It's the same thing. It's, it's, it has even gotten worse, huh? It's the same thing. The, the situation is getting worse. It's getting worse. And that's why, you know, like you, I've come to a point in my life where mm -hmm. I'm just like, you know what? I would see as many niggas as I want to see. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie to any one of you motherfuckers. I would tell you to your face, oh, are you dating somebody? Yes. I'm not dating. I'm seeing people. We're talking. And that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm sleeping with them. And if but I it, feel like 
I can, because I'm a single girl. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because after I'm not answerable to anyone, and then if you want to kill yourself, kill yourself until Jesus comes and tells me, TM, I have a revelation for you. That's the guy you're marrying. We shall all play this game to the end. Because she people want to make me mad. No, but we shall make but ourselves honestly, mad. It's, it's exhausting because I don't want to play games. I know. But then we have to play the game. I know. Because you know what I feel? I feel like there's a theory out there that men don't like nice women. Do you believe that? Um, I feel like they, they like people that would stress them. They like women that would, you know, be here. They don't like peace of mind. Mm. You know? I, it's not for the peace of mind for me. Yeah. I just feel like when you're... My aunt, I had this aunt I used to say in Yoruba. Can you speak Yoruba? She used yes, to I say, do. I will bring to okay. Baburu. <laughs> A lot of people will be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I, will, I will bring to Baburu. She was mm. always... And my aunt, she, had, she was quite notorious. Do you know what I mean? Like she Every time as a kid, I remember back then, I would go through a heartbreak. And my aunt is like, you are crying, you're crying for a man as beautiful as, as you, you are. are. Turn off your phone. Find another guy to take you to Paris for two weeks. The best way to get over one is to find another. Why are you wasting? And I used to think she was extreme. Mm -hmm. But right now in my 30s, I can't lie to you. And this advice, were, it, was, it was really banging. Because she used to say that men don't appreciate nice women. Nice women the yeah. woman who is there. Because in every guy's life who is trying to get with that body, mm -hmm. the guy is in Dorothy's DM trying to talk to you. There's one girl somewhere. They're like sending him shake. prayers in the morning. It's Have you eaten a lot? Ah. He's not looking at how. He's you with your full chest. I've sent prayers too. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> What's that prayer. one heartbreak you went through that you were like, this changed me? Um, ah, I need to check through my pages. This <laughs> Have you ever had to stalk a guy on Instagram? What? Have you ever had to stalk an ex on Instagram? Ah, always. I think we all have. Okay. I think there's always just that one. You are happy. Why are you smiling today? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel like... Um, <coughs> what? Skim, I'm sorry. I, coffee. I told Dorothy about... Oh, sorry. I knew this conversation was going to be a shit show. <laughs> I just wasn't ready for the amount of shit show. And honesty that we're, we're spilling today. I <sighs> think one, one um, situation or relationship for me was... You know, this guy I was dating, like, he had a baby mom. And, you know, they had a child. And, you know, I knew about it. And, you know, when that situation. Was that before he, he, you guys got together, he had the child? Yeah, before. Okay. And, you know, we were doing all of that, seeing each other. We weren't, like, out there. Mm. And um, nine months. She was pregnant again. She had given birth. Oh. And I didn't, I didn't even know about it. <laughs> I got to I, I got to find out through my friends, my best friend's friend's snap. So she took a screenshot of him and the child, carrying the child. A new baby. A new baby. And I think at that time we were fighting. I had just come back from London or something. It was like this trip. And she sent it to me. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, we're not talking, but what's going on? And then I'm, I send it to him and... He just disregarded it, and he was trying to, like, make up for the fights that we were already having. I'm like, Did don't... you not see what I just sent to you? Like, don't you ever reach out to me again. Because for me, I feel like loyalty is really important. Yeah. And I said it earlier that be as open as a book. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I don't want to ever look stupid, because mm -hmm. my friend having to send me that, and me not being in the know... Mm. I felt very stupid. Mm -hmm. And that's, I feel like that's the worst thing for me. Don't ever try to make me look stupid mm -hmm. in front of my friends, in front of my family. Let me know so that I know how in to defend you. World. So I know how to defend you. So when she sent, when she sent it to me, I was, mm -hmm. I was like, and I'm like, I want to be able to say, oh yeah. I knew about it. I knew about it. At least it. if you and hadn't told me. I mean, I'm not going to have a child for you. Yeah. Oh, duh. So it's yeah. okay if you have another child by your baby mom. But not telling me I know. And you know, there were times where you used to complain about finances, all of that, and I would be so understanding. I say you are not seeing a pregnant yeah, woman. Yeah, that's where the finances was going. To Listen, be. Girl, <laughs> the God. shit that this niggas do. So that really like took me off, and I was like, nah, man. You know what I find interesting is the fact that sometimes I I feel like do they even think they don't about how this is going to play out? I feel like men, some. Let me not say men. I can say men, anyways. But some men are so selfish, like. It's their self first. Mm. They don't want 
they don't want to consider your own emotions. Like, let me decide whether I want to be in this situation. Mm. Let me decide whether I... I, of course, I I know about this if I want to stay or yeah. not. Yeah. But keep him in the dark. That's so yeah. selfish. Girl, Your heart is dark. You know <laughs> what? Even there's so many things I can even talk say about that particular one situation because it's not. It's the fact that one, you, I was living a lie. Yeah. Two, publicly you made me, and I think that's what most women fear. Like recently, I was reading something online where this supposed married man is supposed mm-hmm. to, there's a girl who's saying she had a baby for this married man and yeah. the wife came out and backed her husband with her full chest and I said, sis, I can never be you. I can never do it. <laughs> if I hear that the man I'm married to is in one God, he will carry that cross himself. <laughs> I can never stand beside a man. I'm yeah. like, I stand beside you, I am sure. Because these niggas will make you look at, no, they will get to your wife. Maybe she knew about it. Even if I knew about it, I'm sorry. I feel like there's also that conversation we need to have where women yeah. need to stop making the making it about them. Damn. Like, I'm sorry, I'm at a point in my life, I tell people, no man can shame me. You will shame yourself. If I'm wearing your ring mm-hmm. and you go and get somebody else pregnant and she's dragging you online, I'm not going to set lights and come and I'm say my best. Uh, no, eh? we don't do that either. I will even join her live so and be like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. See, I don't join so your life, do. please. I will. Let her see me in there. I'm like... Yo, this uh, nigga. Uh, you probably post um, grabs pop, pop, popcorn uh, story. I will even <laughs> tell my followers, let's head down to this page. Oh, go and watch you. <laughs> when it comes home that night, I'll be like, Daddy, we're, we're done, sir. This is what, what Baba Twins. I will is never. I, I, I will never. Because I feel like yeah. it's not my shame. And women make that mistake all the time. You find women who, I mean, when I was reading the article where the woman granted like a press release, said, the girl is a halot, my husband did not. I said, ah, auntie, there might be other women that your husband is still seeing. You know, like, you're that's, now inviting the shame to yourself. That's it. I'm they're, sorry. There are always would, other women. I will never. I say this, I can never, if you cheat on me, it's you would go to that problem. press conference yourself. <laughs> However she wants to deal with you. I might not leave you I'll be part of the because people would think I'm crazy. I'm like, yeah. ah, she's still married to him. Oh, no. oh boy, he's, he's a shame. He's the one that cheated. Why do women feel the need to drag ourselves through this nonsense that men do? Because me, I can't be one of those women. I tell people, I've, I've killed shame. Yeah. You can't shame the shameless. Listen, I will still wear his ring tomorrow and still say, hey, hey sis, join the queue. If I now wants to come out, <laughs> and that's, alone. yeah, like, you know, there was this time that um, it was really um, rampant on Snapchat where, like, people were Wives coming were out, calling, calling out their girlfriend, yeah, 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 their, yeah, yeah. Their, their husband's side chick. I'm like, that's one of 25. In my sister. In and every, let me tell you what I There's realized. one in each state. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. So for me, yeah, I, I totally agree with you that your shame is your shame. If I cheat, don't come to the press conference with me. Let me Please. wear the Why are we even doing a press conference in the first place? <laughs> no, if I'm yeah. caught out cheating, I'm not going to disgrace you now. But the thing I'll come with my bonus. I'm like, oh boy. I now would, life happens. I'd no. rather like deal with my husband. Inside. Inside yeah. than be out here actually chasing these girls. Have you ever, let's be honest, have you ever like ran up on a girl about a guy? Because of what? I have. You have. <laughs> God forbid. God I have. Forbid. I have. I've really? texted a girl about a guy before. No. I, I have. probably will stalk. I probably but this will stalk was somebody way, way, way back. back. Like, nah. And it was pointless. And I think that was where I was, learned that I would never do it again. There are situations where the girl then wins. She won. Let me tell you how bad my situation was. You know, guys, guys, I shame myself. <laughs> put the clown, put the clown right here. I'm gonna tell you guys right there. There's so now. many situations. So this girl yeah. was seeing my man okay. back then. And they were like a, they, you know when they both know, you know. So I'm calling her. She answers the phone. Hey. I'm like, hey, why are you like, why are you seeing my boyfriend? I think she said to me on the phone, <laughs> um, is that what he, I mean, is that what he, she said something very is insulting, that what he said basically. To you? And then she hung up. And then I remember my friend saying to me, because you know when you find out the guy is cheating and there's yeah. a group setting, all my friends, we're all, shout out to Wonu. Ah, gosh. We're all like, and Wonu kept telling me, don't call her. Don't call her because they might be in on this together. Yes. And I was like, but why would they be in on this? If I call her, at least she doesn't have my number, I can easily just call her and just be like, hey, tell me what's going on between mm-hmm. the both yeah. of you. One girl was so mean to me. She probably laughed in my face and thought, girl, I think she called me jobless self. She Wait, hung, 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 she called me jobless. Oh, <laughs> you for laughing in the studio. She <laughs> She's going she to take the screenshot and show. She hung up for me. And, and then 
I now started calling her with another phone. She didn't pick up the phone. Then my nigga now starts she calling me. Two numbers. Listen, wow. my nigga now starts calling me. And you know what the nigga is saying to me? Wow. Why the fuck are you going to call her? What the fuck are you calling her for? He's defending her. He's a, ah. he's a madman. Hey, what's in my I don't see the end of love. <laughs> Do you know, I ended up apologizing to him yeah. for calling out the girl he was cheating on me with. And they went out and... They pissed. Since she had a child for him. <laughs> they are together. Watch out. All your hard work gone. <laughs> Every time, I'm not seeing her since, like, yeah. you know. It was my marriage. I haven't seen her since that situation, yeah? And I, I, I showed her to think that if I saw her, if I walked into a place, I don't know if I would enter the ground <laughs> because now I've become this person. Yeah. And this was like back then. Do you know what I mean? And I regret it so much. Like, a nigga, like that's why we started with that soft girl era thing. Mm -hmm. Lately in my life, if you have to make me increase the tempo of, of my, my voice, voice, you've got to go. You've got to I go. I can never do this. Always. I'll be here. So I'm speaking from experience. Women who, you know, are quick to bear the shame of men mm -hmm. or you know you think it's about that other person it never ends well sometimes they even use you to get so during that last year ep epidemic where women were calling out their husbands girlfriends on snapchat yeah. i always said you know you're just making the both of them closer of course because i imagine if a married woman disgraces me like that i will not even fight her husband i will cry to him oh. Yeah, and then that's, that's what. She, and the next minute, you, you see, you see, she's in Paris. Sure, yeah. She's in Paris. You think say, what? Babe, go and chill in Paris. I'm of so course. sorry. I'm so sorry. Then you'll be dealing with the wife inside. How dare you disgrace me? So, you know, it's a pointless situation. And besides that, he can just go ahead and stop talking to that one and the second choice will come up to first choice. You know what I find interesting is when those things even happen, it's not even the wife and the main girl that are fighting. Mm -hmm. It's the many other girls that thought they were also dating the guy that find out by a Snapchat. <laughs> That's the heartbreaking <laughs> one, honestly. Because you, it's, it's, I feel like it would be a thing of, ah, for them to find out about this one, that means she's more serious than... That means that person that's... I'm not the serial side serious side oh, No, it's God. always a messy situation, but I feel like as a woman, the best thing to do is always know your place mm -hmm. and um, ensure that your husband respects you. I think that's um, one thing that is overlooked um, in recent times. Ensure that your man but how actually... how can you make a man respect you? Ah, you will respect me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a witch. <laughs> you will respect me. <laughs> you Stay have to be weekend. scared. Stay what? Weekend. I'm very, that's why I'm very wicked. Like, I don't play. Yeah. I don't, if you don't call me, I don't call you. Let's be, oh mm. yeah, hunger games. No, but, but I agree looking. with you. And I hope a lot of people who are watching this would, you know, one thing I've told myself, I think it was since last year, it was, it's, it's the soft girl code that we'll yeah. be sharing with you before we sign off. Never let a man show you twice. That hmm? he can disrespect you. Know that he don't even care about you. Hi. If by bad venture, one time <laughs> you show me, I take the chest, boom. <laughs> I chest up, I He's said, going to do it again. let's move up. Never He's let a nigga show you again. twice that he don't want you, girl. Hmm. Once is enough. Fuck your the kaya. moment he does one, I don't even wear... Come out your shoe! Ah! Off! Do you know that I don't even... This is when people tell me I ended things. I don't end things these days. Though. We'll just stop talking. If I see the disrespect, I don't even tell you, brother, bye. We know, there's, no, there's, there's no need. There's no need for explanation. Go away with whatever... Um, thought process or what do they call it whatever imagination you want to have just go just go but me come on you come and be speaking you know English. what i another thing that we don't do no. second code i'm gonna give it to you what? sweet girls out there resist writing paragraphs ah sorry ah, eh? damn, <laughs> cannot be me ah! god for you see sometimes when i see screenshots and i'm like and this nigga's past the firstly that around. can be a voice note. firstly that can be a voice note and me i don't really know you didn't make any mistake or how did you, how many times did you have to read it? His love. Let me, finally let me tell send you, it. Let me tell you what is so annoying. And this, the reason why I'm saying resist sending I love okay. Ah, okay. Is, okay. It's my K. favorite you word. You have to say okay. No, okay. K. No, baby. K is, K is rude. I okay, like, no, no. When a, nigger, when a nigger is taking me out of character, yeah. he deserves a K. <laughs> I don't even need to, oh, it's too much for me to write. <laughs> I just write K. I and whatever you want to do with it, you do with it. But the reason why I no, got there in this, okay. in this creed, and I said, Never write paragraphs. Is why are you telling someone what they already no. know? No. Oh my God. Jonathan, Thank you. Why are you Thank telling you. someone what they already know? I always say this thing. Know? I literally always say this thing. We're not children. 
We, you know what you're doing, but hey, you want me to call you out on gaslight it. it. I can't be explaining. They gaslight you and I, make you look crazy. I, I'm going to explain tire. You yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. They now say that we sit down with his boys. Now be like, I don't know why Joyce is tripping. They will not be reading your message. Oh, they will not be laughing. They will not be laughing. Oh. Then they see you doing bad in online. Be like, yes, right, this right, one. I know those kind of long messages. Ah, I've written plenty. I'm talking from experience, babe. I can't I've believe written, I've written once. Ah, I can't like. believe you did this to me. Why can't you just act right? I know what I do to this relationship. After everything we've been through, <laughs> nigga knows what we've been through. He don't want you, girl. Exactly. If he wanted you, act right. No, they always know, and that's what ah. pisses me off. Like you just want me to just keep nagging. Like, am I? Am I supposed no, to be? No, that's why I say to us going forward. If my tempo, I can raise my voice with my girlfriend. Yeah. You and I can look at how we had a beautiful conversation. Mm -hmm. We can shout, we can see in the club. And that's where my ratataness can get to. But you see, when I'm with a guy, soft. When I say soft, the way my voice sounds. Listen, until, what I want to hear is. Until Cynthia calls the phone and you can't answer. Guess what? I won't even look there. Ah, you will pick it. No, up. let me tell you why. You're going to pick that phone. Really? Oh. I don't care if, if somebody's blowing up your phone and you can't pick. As long as, when I say soft, all I'm hearing is, babe, what are you doing for the weekend? Let's go to Paris. I'm there. Let's go to Canada. My passport's always on my I'm life. there. Do you understand? I'm here for the soft life. I'm not here for the hard things. Let's sit here. Be the one to go. When things are rough at work, go sit here. I'm not here for when things are rough. <laughs> So I won't question you. Why am I questioning you if she's calling you? Let's see if you do know the hard work. Prayer room, prayer. What was my own? If you got to make me raise my voice, if I had yeah. to tell you the same thing twice, twice. nah, nigger, you have got to no. go. So which way forward now? Because as Scorpios, we love love. Do you know what when, I mean? And that's what people don't, people think like we're the meanest, but I feel like we're like... They make us mean. Yeah, I feel like we're like the softest inside but we try to put up that tough font like you can't mess with me you have to respect my space yeah. you gotta respect yeah. me but i mean and i think it's also like experience like you know just as you and i have been battering and sharing um stories yeah once you meet a woman who like as as dorothy said she's not even lying we're loyal to a fault at every level you're in. like yeah. for me it let me tell you what it takes me a while yeah. to get my attention but once you've got it Nigger, like, I'm... It's like there 100. I ride for you. So if you let me down, I just can't look at you the same way. Do you know it's, what I mean? It's never the same. It's just like, why you? Why did you I, have to... I thought it was just me. It's not something I can ever control because it's never the same. Like, yeah. we can't go back to that place where we used to be. I used to go back to guys mm. in the past. I used to be that girl. I think I just had one relationship that I gave many chances in my life. And we all know how that worked out. Um, so I, I, that one lesson I learned from that is if it's done, it's done, as I said, I don't do paragraphs. I don't do closure. Soft girls, what are you doing closure for? Closure should be while you're on the clean with another man. There's no need. That's enough closure you need. <laughs> I can't. Because that, they, they be, this niggas will make you look crazy. Yeah, really he will crazy. sit across from you and make it seem as if it's not you, it's me. What does that mean? It's not about you, it's about me. <laughs> If I use this bottle to break your head. They say we have to kiss many frogs before we find the prince. Maybe that's why I don't like kissing. Girl. Yeah. Mm. Then take uh, your mouth away. Unless it's that serious. Even uh, if it's serious. I <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys enjoy intimacy? <sighs> let's, 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 let's talk about that in another podcast. Oh Dorothy's definitely going to come back here. And I need to hear more about the no kissing. Are you one of those, I don't kiss if I'm not in love with you? 100%. Kissing is that important to you? It's very deep to me. Yeah. yeah. No, it's extreme. I always say this. It's extremely deep. Because I have to look into your eyes to do that. Move back. What? <laughs> You guys, what a way to throw in the season. It's going to be a wild one. Thank you so much for stopping by, Dorothy. Yeah, and you know, welcome. this is this is how Scorpios are. And we're like a one in a lifetime thing. Mm -hmm. I tell people, if you fumble the bag with a Scorpio, Scorpio. you've lost son. You Honestly. actually lost. You don't you lost know. a friend. You lost a sister. Because we're like five package in one. I agree. Good get, bad get, church get. Mixed race is what mixed. I say. There's a bit of everything. Fuck, fuck you know, I'm mixed race. I can be a freak today, a church girl tomorrow. 100. Like, Do you and understand? Then, and we're very intellectual as well. No jokes. Like, good it's advices. funny how people think that, oh my God, we just really like, you know, the good things of life. I can talk to you about 
work for the next two hours mm-hmm. and it wouldn't be anything sexual. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, I like, like that other, as well with yeah, guys. It doesn't always have to be sexual. But then I just hate the fact that, that you waste my motherfucking time. I don't want to invest in one more person. So I'm just done. Close. Like for my business. investment back. Um, yeah. When I see those videos with those American girls say, I'm dating for money now, and people are always bashing them. I don't know why they bash them. I'm like, at least they're honest. <laughs> Why are you bashing somebody who is honest about what she's dating for? Maybe she did it for love. It didn't work out. And now I, she's like, listen. I saw something that's the song. I think it's it's a lyric. It's one of like the lyrics of one song. Mm. It goes, um, she can't be a gold digger because you're broke or something like that. Oh, no. I find out that even the real wealthy men don't use words like that. Oh, like yeah. the real people with money don't call people gold diggers. Anybody who calls a girl a gold digger is a broke guy. Because, come on. Like, those. you think Elon Musk... You think he uses words like that? I had that guy sharing money. On Twitter, how do we apply? So you have to verify it or something. But we're verified on Twitter. And then you have to check. I don't know. It's, I don't even know, but I'm not buying. I'm not buying. Blue I tick. mean, I, I mean. <laughs> Elon, Elon that we know will wake up tomorrow and say he's not doing a gig. Oh, so I know someone said they were like, they, I told somebody last week that said they, they made $300 on Twitter. Yeah, a lot of people are making thought, uh, making a lot of money. But that nigga gonna wake up tomorrow and say it's not doing a game. Yeah, and he can revoke it. What? I mean, just imagine like yeah. dating someone like Elon Musk. He's, he looks like he's crazy. You will wake up tomorrow and he will say we need to move to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is gonna be he like... Look, he what? looks like he's, he's not... Listen, yeah, he looks he like gives he's me like right. Kanye vibes. And I love Kanye. Uh, but I love Kanye, but... Did you see the picture to... where he, he stepped out with his girlfriend? I think he was barefoot. His wife. Yeah. Oh, well, married. they're married. Yeah. Wow. Kanye is married. He married, I think, someone who works for him. And they or were on barefoot. But what I like about Kanye is I just I, I tell people that what I'm attracted to about Kanye West is is his audaciousness. I fuck with people like that. Have the balls to die on the heel of something. Kanye doesn't care. Yeah, if he it's just right says it. But I it like is. the fact that he can die on that heel if he's wrong. Than people who are faking it. I would rather know that, okay, this is who you are. This is where you think. Oh, this is how, do you know what I mean? Where I get she, it. She, but I would she. I would respect somebody who has the balls to not be liked. To stand, do you okay. know what I mean? Stand for oh, what yeah, you believe in. Oh, yeah, not society. In. Yeah. Not society. Like, but it's too much. It's too much. I get it. Much. But then, you know what? The nigger actually is better than most people who are lukewarm. Instead of it to either be on the left or be the right or in the middle. Let me know. Are you green? Are you red? So when you're going in there, you know what So you're I know what I'm there, getting. Yeah. And I also feel like Kanye is not... Half the things he says are not wrong. It's how he says it. it. His method of delivery. When he said black people chose to be slaves, I don't think... Him, I'm not going to speak for him because I'm not in his mind. But I got the message in terms of we don't own a lot of things. Like, that slave mentality is still in all of us and it's Nigerians a choice we have to slave. make. Definitely not like that. Yeah, but I understood... It's just that how he worded it and how he said it was probably... Came across as... Came across yeah. as, you know, the fuck. And then, yeah... He's really said so many nasty things to the black community, though. <laughs> but you know what? I would still fuck with him because at least I know that the ones that are smiling in your expect, face, yeah. you know what I mean? But they don't like you. But they are in your face and trying to be like, oh my God, I support this, but they don't. So at least Kanye tells you, I don't fuck with you. And I I, I, I don't wear slippers? Well, maybe Dorothy's yeah, issues with his slippers. <laughs> Did his toes look really nasty? I think he had something weird on, but yeah. I like his mind. He's a genius. Yeah. I I would I would want to be in a room with Kanye West, just to pick his brains. Okay, okay. I mean, when he's used his meds, though, <laughs> so that that way we can have like a full. Because full I feel like he he says, you know, there was a a Dave Chappelle thing where he was talking about how he met Kanye and was in the studio and someone called him and he's like, well, because I'm doing epic, because my life is epic and I do epic shit. Like, have you watched this documentary? No. The way Kanye no. believes in himself, we all need a little bit <laughs> I of think that. It, now. I think it, was it on his mom. Donda. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The way he believes, Kanye, everything that's happening, he saw it come. He believes in himself. Yeah. He believes he's a god. Like, someone who actually thinks he's the shit. God? I mean, with a little G. Okay. And we are gods at the end of the day, aren't we? We are many gods. Do you know what I mean? All right, guys. We're now chatting, of course. Thank you so much for opening, <laughs> opening my podcast with me, You're Dorothy. Welcome. Stay wicked. That's my advice to all the ladies out there. Dangerous. Dangerously wicked. I said wicked. She said dangerous. So we put the words together. Dangerously wicked. wicked. Until I chat with you guys again on the next episode of Talking Moments. Mwah. Love you.